Okay guys, nice to have you with us again. Uh, today's episode of the Cobra Masterclass will be about painting technique, like actually the next one. Um, in oil color in general, basically there are two different techniques. The first one is with an Italian expression called alla prima. Alla prima means actually in one time. You create nothing but one layer on your canvas or whatever you're painting on and you mix your colors on your palette but also on your canvas. So let's make a brief example of that. Uh, when you're painting wet and wet, a la prima, you can work with pure paint. Actually, it mixes pretty nice. The pure paint. But you can also, if you want, mix your paint with water or with one of the Cobra mediums that we get into later. And for example, painting a sky, you see that wet and wet you can really make very soft blendings in your color. Let's work a little bit on the clouds here. But you see, since oil color dries really slow, it's beautiful to blend the colors. Make some horizon. Let's fill it in quickly here with a little bit of water. Now, this is a uh, fast example of the first technique, a la prima. Uh, oh. Um, but uh, we're going to the next technique, painting in layers. And that's more complicated. With this technique, Alla Prima, you hardly see any problems in time, I mean, for the durability of your painting. Important is that your ground is good, uh, of good quality and it's well prepared. That's the basis of your painting. Then painting wet in wet, hardly any problems later. But with the next. Um, I'm not going to make a painting here because uh, I don't have the time to do that in one, in one episode. Um, actually painting in layers, it means applying several layers uh, with in between drying of every layer. And uh, with this technique, actually, we have to follow a certain rule. It's a worldwide known rule. It's called fed over lean. Fed over lean. I personally prefer to explain it with another expression, which is elastic over less elastic, because that's what it all comes down to. Um, you know, every paint layer, so let's apply a little bit of paint here. Now, this is pretty thick paint. This will start drying, the oil will start to oxidate. And this oxidation process never, never, ever stops. It goes on forever and forever. And after a few days, maybe a week, it will be dry to the touch. You can touch it, no color comes off. Um, but it does not mean that the paint is completely dry. For a layer like this, it will take maybe about a year to completely dry also in the inside. And and this paint layer afterwards gets harder and harder and harder. Now this paint layer, we don't see it, and it goes for every paint layer, wh wh layer, whether it's oils or acrylics. Every paint layer is moving. Due to changes in air temperature and air humidity, it's extending and shrinking, extending and shrinking. Now, the more binder a paint layer contains, the bigger the movement. 
Yeah? The oil will get harder and harder in time, so the movement in time will get less. But when we pay in, pay in uh, layers and we start like this, the first years, many years, this layer, because it's pure paint, contains a lot of binder, a lot of oil, will keep on moving, extending and shrinking. Fat over lean, elastic over less elastic. What it comes down to actually is that every next layer should contain more oil, in this case, oil color, than the previous layer, fat over lean. But why do I prefer elastic over less elastic? Now, first, let's do it the wrong way. Let's do it lean over fat, meaning a lot of oil, and then every next layer, less oil. And I cannot do this because the paint will not dry within a minute, but suppose this is a cross-section of a substrate. On the substrate, we make this thick paint layer, only a little bit bigger now. Yeah? So this is pure paint, and the pure paint contains relatively a lot of oil. Yeah. First of all, it takes a long time for this layer to be dry enough to be overpainted without mixing anymore with the next layer. I have to wait maybe several weeks. Um, and then, when it's dry enough, when it definitely does not mix with the next layer, and I apply a next layer with a lot of water, which, mean, which means less oil, and I paint on top of that. Since the second layer hardly contains any oil, the second layer will be dry sooner than the first one. The first one relatively contains much more binder, oil, which means it will keep on moving, extending, shrinking much longer than the next layer. So what happens to the next layer? Due to the movements of the first one, it'll be cracked apart. Yeah? That's what I mean, elastic over less elastic. This is not a good way. It's what it should be, ground. Then, first layer, thinned with water. Now, this one dries much faster than the thick one. Maybe it can already be overpainted within a few days. It depends a little bit on the color. The pigments are influencing the drying time. Yeah. Also, because I thinned the oil with water, this will dry pretty open. So also, the next layer will have the possibility to put its anchors in. Yeah. Remember? And since the first one, this lean one, this less elastic one, will absorb oil from the next one, yeah, also, the first one will be a little bit stronger, but it also means, because it absorbs oil from the next layer, that the next layer should contain more oil than the previous one, otherwise the next one does not have enough oil to protect the pigments. So that's actually what it's all about. We have to paint from less elastic to more elastic, from lean to fat. There are several possibilities to follow the fat over lean rule, actually. And we're going to get into that in the next episode. We're going to finish the whole fed over lean principle. And I hope to see you then, guys. And have a nice day. Mm -hmm.